Hi all, in the last video we saw how you can set up the Shopify app in your development store. Today we are going to do the following things. So we will create a new component, add scopes to read the orders. So currently we have the scope only to actually read the products. So let us see where to add uh, the scopes to uh, read orders. After that we will fetch the orders from uh, the uh, from Shopify using the admin uh, REST API then we will use the Polaris index table component to display the data or display the orders that we have fetched now let's see how we can do this it is this index.jsx file that is getting uh, loaded over here in index.jsx they have imported a product card component which is inside the components folder so this is the product card.jsx component that we have so let us create a new component now so inside the components folder i am going to add a new component called orders table dot jsx okay my component over here all right so i created my component over here called orders table now let me just give something for returning here I'm going to, going to display here as orders table. I'm going to remove all this code from here uh, and I'm just going to show my orders table component over there. So I will just remove all these from here. Now instead of the product card, I'm going to use my orders table component over here. Now you can see that the order table component has loaded over here. Okay. Now let us add the Polaris uh, index table component into our order table component. For that, what you can do is you can go to the uh, Polaris documentation. Okay. And here you will get the list of all the components that it have. So let us go and find index table. That is, you can uh, copy these contents from here. So you need to import all these things from the Polaris library, and then let us import those over here okay and then let us come down and then inside the uh, function function we will copy these contents for now so that and i'm going to uh, add these contents over here inside the return we will copy this and add Now let's see if we are getting the Polaris uh, table component over here. Now in the app you can see that I have the uh, index table component loaded over here. This is the dummy content that is coming from uh, the Polaris documentation. Now we need to make it dynamic with our orders that is fetched from the uh, Shopify admin API. We need to request the read orders scope for our app so for that at the bottom of the uh, folder file you can see a, a file called shopify.app.tml file so click on that and then here you can see scopes now we have only the right product scope so here you can add read underscore orders okay so this is the scope that we are requesting for now to understand more about the scopes, uh, you can actually go to uh, this Shopify Dev API Usage Access uh, Scopes uh, documentation. So here you can see that this is the scope that we need to add for uh, getting the orders. Okay, so this is what I have added over here. So it is read scopes. I'm just going to fetch the orders now. So I'm just giving it as a read order scope here. After this, we need to uh, get the orders using the uh, REST admin API. For doing that, we are going to the routes folder over here and inside web.php, we have all these routes over here. Let us create a new route for uh, fetching our orders. Now to save us some time, I have actually uh, done the code for this and I'll just uh, take you through the code. So, uh, I'm uh, calling the API slash orders and inside that I am actually taking the session from here. Also, I'm going creating a client and for using so I'm using the API for uh, getting the orders. I'm calling the API here for getting the orders. I'm returning the uh, response. Let us come back to our uh, orders table. 
next what i am going to do is i am going to uh, remove these contents from here because i am going to use the uh, real content from our orders api now for that we need to import the use app query hook the use app query hooks uses uh, react query for fetching the data so uh, let us see how to do that let us call app query and inside app query we are passing an object which the with the following uh, values so first we need to add the url so uh, the url that we are calling so we'll go to the web.php so this is the url that we are calling so uh, let us come back to the orders table and add the url over uh, next we need to add the uh, react query options okay so we have the react query options which we'll be passing in so in the react query options we can give an on success uh, success function will do is once the uh, query execution happens uh, we are telling what what to do next okay so in the on success we will get a response object so let us actually console that response object here okay we are going to destructure uh, the data that the use app query hook is going to give us here okay let us destructure it you can actually destructure a lot of uh, values here like is loading uh, what is the error uh, is error and all these things uh, now let me just comment out all these because we don't have customers data or anything here uh, otherwise it will throw an error so i am just commenting all these okay and here also in the return i am just commenting out all these and let me just return a div going back to my app you can see that it has automatically reloaded because we have requested for the uh, new scope so here you can see that uh, the new permission is asked called view orders so uh, we need to actually give the app access to this only then uh, again it only then it will work properly now so i'm going to click on update app so my app will have the read orders access also so now let us uh, go to our console and see if we have uh, got this object over there what we have got there so so you can see here i have got the uh, an object over here from the orders table.jsx so i will open it and you can see that there is an orders array inside that so this is our uh, this is the orders that we have in our uh, store so uh, we are able to fetch those orders we have all the orders uh, details over here coming from the uh, admin api okay now the next thing we need to do what we need to do is we need to loop these contents uh, into the polaris uh, uh, index table component over here which we will see in the next tutorial thanks for watching if you like our videos please do subscribe and uh, like the video so it would be a great help for us to create more contents like this